some toothpaste. Let's see what I'm gonna do with that. Um, so, do you think I can squeeze all this toothpaste out and get it back in the tube? We'll see about that. Um, you gonna try? I'm gonna try. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Let's see. Maybe I'll just use one tube. I didn't think there was much in here. I'll just use one. Okay. So I squeeze that all out. All right. Now let's see. I guess I'll use a spoon. <laughs> what do you think? That'll work. <laughs> try to get that back in there. Oh no. All right. How about a toothpick? We'll try that. That'll take a while. <laughs> that might work, but that'll take a while. Okay. Um, so my lesson today is um, speaking, uh, just words that you speak, uh, either they lift up people or they don't, and once you say them, you can't take them back. I mean, I can try to get the toothpaste in there, but once you say a word like anger, you can't take that back. Um, so um, Ephesians 4.29 says, Let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, but only such a word as is good for edification according to the need of the moment, so that it will give grace to those who hear. Paul talks about unwholesome or abusive words. Uh, what type of words might these be? Uh, curse words, words said in anger, insults, name calling. Then he talks about words that are good for edification and give grace. Words for good for edification are words that build up and encourage. Words that give grace to the hearer are words that may not be deserved but are said in kindness in spite of not being deserved. So we want to change our unwholesome words to words that build up or give grace. I'm sure we're all guilty of that, me included, right? <laughs> Family. <laughs> we probably have all heard, um, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. But that's not true. Words can hurt. Uh, they're damaged or scar, but they can also heal. Um, Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived, wrote in Proverbs 11.9, With their words, the godless destroy their friends, but knowledge will rescue the righteous. In Proverbs 15.1, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. In Proverbs 15.4, kind words bring life, but cruel words crush your spirit. So the Bible speaks often of being cautious and mindful of what we say. Um, it's important that we think before we speak. Once the words are out, we can't take them back. Um, Psalm 141.3, David says, Take control of what I say, Lord, and guard my lips. Um, so there's a little thing here. Before speaking, ask yourself, is it, it's think, it's T-H-I-N-K. Is it true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, and kind? So. And then James, Jesus' brother, gives us great advice about being slow to speak in um, James 1.19. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, you must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Well, let's try to do that, even though it's sometimes difficult. But Thanks. <laughs> so who wants his toothpaste? Anybody need to brush their teeth? <laughs> right? Toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs>